In March, the U.S. Navy expanded their EA-18 Growler program here at OLF Coopfield. That means more takeoffs and landings and, consequently, more jet noise. Well, now a group of neighbors are filing a complaint at the federal level saying that extra jet noise is impeding on their quality of life. We can't be out here. And how does that make you feel? <sighs> Extremely sad. Extremely sad. When Evelyn Novak bought this home in Coopville, she did not anticipate the amount of jet noise she and her neighbors are now exposed to. I did all my planning so that I would be able to live here. I don't know what I have to do in the future now. She's one of 24 plaintiffs that have filed a suit against the Navy's expansion of their EA 18G growler program at OLF Coopville, saying that the noise is just too much to bear. It's so loud that it shakes you inside. It shakes the home. And then it's one right after the other. The 24 are all neighbors in the Admiral Cove neighborhood about a mile from the landing oh, strip. Can I see him? I can see him working the joystick. I can wave to him. Paul Fernstall is also a plaintiff on the complaint that was filed last Thursday in federal claims court. What I want is a fair settlement. I'm not asking for billions of dollars. What I'm asking for is an opportunity to live my life in peace. Their attorney Steve Morrissey says that ever since the Growler expansion, touch and go landings have increased by nearly 400 percent. The level and consistency of the jet noise has taken away their ability to enjoy their property, made their property lose value, and put them in harm's way, according to the complaint. It's the second suit against the Growler program expansion following the state of Washington's filed in July. Paul, who is a Vietnam vet, says it's also what the jets bring back that hurts. The frequency of the jet noises uh, aggravates my PTSD to the point where I have nightmares at night. I can't sleep. The Navy tells us they do not comment on ongoing litigation. The Navy did authorize the expansion to begin in March, increasing the number of landings to nearly 100,000 per year for 30 years. I'd love to have somebody from the Navy come out here and stand, and stand where I do, and those jets flying by and see if they would like to live here. The hope is for less flights and compensation, but as they wait for a response, the plaintiffs are left wondering how to live on with this new normal. I'd really like to be able to live the rest of my life out. And it's hard to think that that may not happen. As far as next steps go, attorney Steve Morrissey says that the Navy has 30 to 60 days to respond to the complaint, and then he'll have a better idea of whether or not this will be going to trial. In Coopville, Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.